What's up, y'all? For those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I'm currently in the process of renovating this house that we're in, while also renovating a duplex, while trying to film videos and edit, and you also know that I got let go a little while ago. But what you don't know is that I got a new job. So now on top of editing, filming, and renovating these properties, I'm also working full time again. So most of the time, I'm now feeling like there's not enough time of the day to accomplish what I want to accomplish. So rather than making excuses, I've decided I'm gonna try Jocko Willink's morning routine and wake up at 4.30 a.m. It's currently about 10.30, whoa, 10.30 on the dot. So it's getting late if I'm gonna be waking up at 4.30, so I'm about to hit the hay. But I'm not gonna do one of those things where I set my alarm for like 4.25, so I wake up early, set up my camera, and film myself waking up at 4.30. No. My goal is to wake up so fast when that alarm hits that I'm able to grab my camera and film the alarm at 4.30 on the dot. So if you see 4.30 on my camera tomorrow morning instead of like 4.31 or 4.32, know that I woke up pretty freaking fast. The discipline can seem like it's your worst enemy, but the reality is discipline is your best friend. Get out of bed. You need to get things done. It is so early. Let's go. Alright, this is pretty awesome. I feel like this is going to be the most productive day ever. I don't really know what to do though. I don't know if I should eat breakfast and take my vitamins now, or do a little work, then eat breakfast and take my vitamins, or I don't know. But I have some work that's due at 10 a.m. today, so figure I might as well get a jump on that and then work out. And I'm waking up this early, I think I'd love to work out first thing, but since I have some stuff to do, I think I'm gonna knock it out now and then I'm gonna work out. I think that'll be a good way to start my day. I always say I want to wake up early enough to watch CNBC before work, but I always just end up hitting snooze and sleeping in, so finally I can eat my breakfast, watch CNBC, and feel like I'm up to date with everything that's going on. So, it's a good morning so far. All right, it's 7.26 now. Finished up watching some Squawk Box on CNBC. Now I'm gonna get started working. Definitely feeling a little tired now after sitting down for like 30 minutes, but overall, then a good morning. I will keep you guys updated throughout the day. All right, it's now a little past one, and I think that the hype of all this is starting to wear off, and I'm starting to get a little tired. It also doesn't help that last night after I put the camera down and said I was going to bed, I actually stayed up for another hour and a half watching Jocko Willink interviews on YouTube, so I really didn't go to bed until after midnight. So I'm running on E. I think a nap would be amazing right now, but I'm not gonna do it because that would ruin all of this. I'm gonna bite through, I'm gonna be productive, I'm gonna eat my lunch, and I'm gonna go to bed at like four o'clock. It's almost five o'clock. I could fall asleep right now. I think that working from home definitely makes me more tired. I think tomorrow in August, I'm definitely gonna have a little more energy. Plus, I should get way better sleep tonight because I'm exhausted, so tomorrow's gonna be much better. It is 6.36, and I'm already in bed. I should take these out. Ugh. Yeah. Nice productive day, got a lot done. I'm hoping that I can fall asleep and sleep through the night, but I feel like I'm gonna end up waking up at like 10 o'clock and it's just gonna, this is just gonna end up being like a long nap, but I'm hoping that I can just sleep until 4.30, that'd be amazing. All right, see y'all bright and early. Day two, let's go. So when I was in college, I was always reading, but since I graduated, I really haven't read that much. So now that I'm waking up at freaking 4.30, I got a lot of time. So, I wanna get back in. I'm gonna get back into reading. All right. 
right, it's now almost eight o'clock, and I've got some takeaways from waking up at 4.30 for two days in a row now. One, I don't like working out super early in the morning. It's a lot more fun when I can, one, blast music, two, work out with friends, three, come home from a long day of work. Just working out during the day when the sun is shining and there's good weather, it just feels different. Also, my body feels way more awake when I work out later in the day versus at freaking 4.30 in the morning. So, there's that. But I will say, it does feel super awesome to look at the clock, see it say like 6.05 or 6.10, whatever time it was, and be completely done with my workout for the day. So that feels like an accomplishment in itself. That's awesome. But now I'm gonna get to work and I will check in with y'all later in the day, let you know how I'm feeling. Hopefully, I'm not feeling as tired as I was yesterday. All right, it is right around 6.45, just got home from work, and holy crap, today was like a complete 180 from yesterday. At this point yesterday, I was already in bed asleep. Today I had so much more energy and just felt so much better throughout the day. I think part of it had to do with the fact that I got like three times as much sleep, and the other part of it was I was actually busy today. I had tons of work to do, so the day just flew by. Where yesterday I worked from home, I didn't have as much to do, and the day just went so slow. Feels good to be awake at 6.45. Making a step in the right direction. 7.01 and I'm not even tired. 7.06, still not tired. 7.15, not tired. 8.37. I'm starting to get tired. It's 10.36. I stayed up way too late working on a puzzle. Terrible decision. I'm gonna be so tired in the morning. You know what day it is. It is Wednesday, my dudes. All right, it is 4.37 in the morning. I'm sitting here, very tired. And I'm gonna read a little more of this book. Definitely the most tired this morning than I've been any of the other mornings. Should not have stayed up so late. Should not have done that puzzle. Should have been asleep at like eight. Lil bro woke up with me this morning though. Oh bro! It's never too early for fetch. But I think it is a little too early for him to, oh wait, is he gonna bring it back? No, it is too early. It's way too early. Holy crap. <laughs> Where did the time go? 5.52 and uh, I ended up getting distracted on TikTok. Not good. But I had CNBC on in the background, so maybe I soaked up some knowledge and I didn't even know it. I'm about to flip this egg. It didn't even freaking come off the pan. All right, take two. All right, that did not go as planned. Last attempt. If I don't put this egg, I'm gonna be pissed. It's way too early to be shouting, but I'm hype. Let's go. All right, it's almost 6:30. I'm about to head out for the day. Gonna head to Fort Worth. Honestly, should have left earlier. I'm gonna be up at 4:30. Might as well be productive, but you know what? I was a little lazy this morning. Sat there for way longer than I planned. All right, I'm back from Fort Worth. Pretty freaking tired. Not as tired as Monday, but not as energetic as yesterday. I think I'll be able to stay up till like 8.30 tonight. Should have worked out earlier. Don't really want to work out, but in the spirit of this, Jocko wouldn't make an excuse, so I guess I can't either. I'm gonna push through and then I'm gonna pass out right after. Workout was light, but got it done, and now it is time to pass out because it's almost 10 o'clock. And I'm waking up early, so I gotta get to bed. Dang, I really did get chili on my forehead. Kylie and I got some Sonic. Got myself a chili cheese coney and I somehow got it on my forehead. Don't know how that happened. Also got it on my shirt. I do know how that happened. But it's almost my bedtime. Still haven't worked out. Gotta squeeze that in and then hit the hay. It was pretty awesome waking up and getting straight to work though because I literally started working like 
at 4.35, I just got on my computer and I've never been more productive. That was awesome. When you get working that early, you feel like a machine. Like, I finished like five hours of work before a lot of people were even awake. So that's pretty cool. It's freaking 11 o'clock almost and I'm still awake. I should not be awake because I freaking have to get up and like, an hour because 4 30 comes so soon but i got family coming in tomorrow so i had to clean up the house real good had to go shopping so i'm about to pass out because we're doing a little cookout tomorrow so it's gonna be a long day all right i've made a grave mistake so this morning the garage door opener wasn't inside like it normally is. So to get the garage, you can come out the back door, walk around and boom, you're right there. Or you can go through the house. But to go through the house, you have to go through my roommate's room. So I had to sneak through his room at freaking like 4.30 in the morning. But what I forgot to do before I did that was unlock the back door. So now I gotta sneak back through for a second time and try not to wake him up. All right, let's try and be quiet when we do this. All right, it's a little after five, made it home from work, and I'm not even tired, I'm feeling good. I think it's because it's a Friday, I'm just, I'm hyped. We're having people over tonight, we're having a little cookout. Yeah, so I'm not even tired at all. But before we go get ready for cookout shenanigans, I wanna tell you about my three key takeaways from waking up at 4.30 this week. One, you have a lot of freaking time on your hands. So if you don't make a plan for what you're gonna do at that time, honestly, it feels unproductive. Like the one day that I didn't really make a plan, I kind of sat there and watched TikToks. Terrible, terrible, simply terrible. But the other days I woke up, I had a plan to do some work and then work out and get all these things done. And I did it and it was awesome. I felt accomplished and it was amazing. So make a plan, write it out and you're gonna be more productive than you've ever thought you could be. Two, Jocko Willink doesn't drink caffeine and he's a huge pomegranate tea guy. I also don't really drink caffeine. I'm a green tea guy though because it's good for you and helps you chill out before bed, but maybe I need to check out pomegranate tea. Never even knew that was a thing. So I'm gonna try that. And three, do not hit the snooze button. If you do it, it's game over, especially if you're trying to wake up that early. I would have just fallen asleep. But the fact that it was so early, it forced me not to hit it. And then it made me realize after like 10 seconds, I was completely fine, I wasn't tired. I was feeling good, ready to go, and ready to have a good productive day. So those are my three major takeaways. And the fact that I don't really like working out at 4.30 in the morning because my body's still asleep and it's just boring because I can't blast music. But other than that, it was a fun, interesting week. Not gonna wake up at 4.30 every morning, but I'm definitely gonna start waking up earlier. Gonna try and get more on a schedule and set a morning routine that's more realistic and works good for me. So, time to have a cookout with some friends. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>